Uh, right now, I feel I feel like I feel a little bit calmer than I did four years ago. Um, I think because we just competed, I feel better because I have the meet uh, from championships that went well. Um, but I'm trying to think that I've already been here, and I just have to take in the fact that it's my second Olympic trials, and that's definitely something to be proud of. You know, four years later to still be here. So I'm trying to just kind of cherish the moment and, and not think about the pressure and just think about more enjoying the moment. I'm trying to not put so much pressure on myself. I think that I've worked so hard and I've done everything I could possibly do. So now it's kind of just, you know, putting on a show for everyone. It's a sold out arena. The crowd's going to be incredible. So just really, um, you know, I think this will be the best meet that any of us will ever compete in because at the Olympics it's incredible, but there's people from all over the world here. It's a sold out arena and every single person is cheering for us, you know, the United States of America. So it's a uh, I'm excited, you know, everyone's going to be chanting USA, so it's going to be very incredible. At the Olympics, you know, there's people from Armenia, China, all over the world, so, you know, there's still a good crowd and good energy, but there's nothing like being in the U.S. with a sold-out arena. I mean, I'm guessing if I, you know, I've known Marta for a very long time, I'm, I'm guessing she kind of pretty much has an idea of who she wants on the team, and I think that um, unless something insane happens, then it's probably going to stay the same. I don't know who those five girls are, but... Um, you know, we've competed three times in the last month, so I think that she has an idea and um, she's going to base it off of those competitions as well as this one. But, um, you know, if, I'm sure if someone has a little mistake here, you know, at this competition, it's not going to, if she had them on the team before, it's not going to affect them from being on it. I took a whole year off after the last Olympics and um, it took me like a full year to kind of want to come back in the gym, but as soon as I did, I took another year just to like take things slow and to um, get all my skills and strength back and then like that first year was really fun and really exciting just to like I felt like I was a little kid back in the gym and then the last two years have definitely been um, more intense or obviously days where I just didn't really know what I was doing or why I actually decided to come back because it's so hard and it's hard to have like a social life when you're training so much um, but now obviously it's very worth it and you know hopefully I can prove to the selection committee that my hard work is paying off. Um, I think that I just felt, you know, I was 18 years old at the last Olympics. I was young and I just felt like I still wanted to try to do more in the sport and, um, you know, it, I think it's really, you know, it's never been done before for a gymnast to do back-to-back -back gold. So I think that, you know, that was something me and Gabby, we wanted to try to do together. And, um, you know, I, I don't know, I, I think that... I, I've been trying to just do it for myself and I still love gymnastics, I still have fun with it and um, I feel stronger than I did four years ago so I, I'm glad that I came back.